Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Tech. My, na- My name is Alan Billings and I'm Jared Marmot. And he is also the host, yes. host, sub host, guest host. host uh, yeah, I'll take all of those. <laughs> okay. Um, today we're talking about a few things. Let's look at the paper. PS3 hacked. Now, yes, I know it's old news for some people. Some people it's not old news, some people it is old news. But I do not know if you know that it was hacked again two days after it was hacked. So let's go on that discussion right from just from there. It was hacked by, who was it? Let's see here. Let's wait for a group of coders called Fail Over Flow. Uh, they, hacked the, they hacked the interface. And the interface is basically the entire thing, uh, being able to access all kinds of people's information, you know, all that other stuff. I don't know what they actually got to, uh, but they, uh, the reason they did this, a lot of people, I don't know the whole myth. Uh, a lot of people will say that it was because that they were all of a sudden allowed to ha- uh, mod games, and then they were Sony took away that right, and they said, oh, well, we're going to hack you now. Uh, I've heard that, uh, but this paper, this news report says that it was because uh, they told PS3 that their infrastructure was crap. It was basic and simple math to them that they could hack it any second, which actually this seems to be uh, very common. Uh, someone tells you your infrastructure is too easy, and then they just hack it just to tell you that it's too easy. Um, but it was a big mess because it took them a month to rebuild it. So PS3 was down for about, PS3 Live, let me put that in better terms. PS3 Live was down for about a month, so PS3 users could not play online games uh, for an entire month. They couldn't watch their Netflix for an entire month. Uh, my friend would call me and be like, hey, I can't watch my net, uh, your Netflix account, because they have my Netflix account. Uh, I can't watch your Netflix account. What's your password and everything? I said, it doesn't matter. They were like, oh, well, I can't find the PSN or whatever, or the, uh, no. Uh, it, was there, it was trying to find the DNS server. It's like, can't find the DNS server. Um, and don't, DNS is just domain name server. And I'm like, well, the, don't you guys know the PS3 network's down? And they're like, oh, no. Uh, so that's, this lasted for an entire month, which actually probably stressed out a lot of people because uh, I'm sure it did. I, I mean, who wouldn't be stressed out by that? I mean, I was really hoping to get someone on the show that had a PS3 uh, to talk about it. I live PS3 via other people. I use their <laughs> PS3s. Yeah. I mean, I was really hoping to get a... Well, I actually might do that a little bit later. P- get someone online, talk about a PS3, maybe at the end of the show. Uh, but, uh, yeah, no, this was definitely a downer. Uh, because they hacked it, and they're like... And there's not really much to talk about with this. They hacked but, it, I mean... But from what we've read in these articles here, that Sony is not has been prone to hacks before, as we have, that their PSP has been prone to comprehensive uh, hacks along with the Nintendo DS, which is obviously another brand, yeah. but still, yeah. Oh, uh, well, technically it is. Yeah. Nintendo DS? Nintendo. Yeah, it's yes. Yeah, Nintendo's brand. Nintendo, Sony's yeah. PlayStation. Um, yeah, so what this cost them, what, what was it, four billion? Four, no, it was f- uh, 41 billion. 41 billion dollars. And yeah, since June 2004. As of June 2004, because of all these hacks. It's uh, ridiculous. But uh, again, like I said, it was hacked again two days after, uh, thanks to Cliff, Cliff Pro on Twitter. Uh, Good old Cliff Pro. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> uh, I was in uh, I was in class checking my Twitter, and he's like, "Guess who got hacked again?" And number PS3, and I'm like, "Yay!" Uh, that's so him right there, just saying it that way. Guess yeah. who got hacked again? <laughs> uh, yeah. No, it's totally, and I was not shocked at all, actually. Um, I was either thinking that these people were going to hack either the same people. I'm not sure who hacked them the second time. Uh, I'm not sure if it was the same company. Uh, what was it? Fail over flow? Fail over flow. Fail over flow. I wasn't sure if it was fail over flow who hacked them like they did the first time um, for the first attempt. Uh, but uh, it was definitely someone who hacked it, which I really thought was going to happen again. Because look at it. There's news, there's publicity, and all of a sudden people say, huh, I want to try hacking it. I mean, not every person's going to look at that and say, hey, let's try hacking it. But, uh, I mean, someone's going to do it. Someone's going to be like, oh, I wonder if I can hack that. Uh, or it could be the same company. Very possible. 
uh, PS3 is recommending to, uh, because they got hacked the second time, they're not shutting it down uh, for as I know of right now, as of this moment. Uh, they're not shutting it down. But it would be a safe bet as they're recommending to change your passwords. Yes. They want to change your password, change your email account, if that's all possible. Uh, so as soon as you turn on your at PS3, it should actually prompt you to reset your online password for your PSN. And if you, do, uh, if you don't know it, I don't know what you're going to do about that. I don't know if there's a forget, I forgot my password or whatever. I don't know how that works. I do not have a PS3. Uh, so therefore... I didn't, was not affected by this. I think, <coughs> I think the Red Ring of Death was the only thing I knew mostly to be afraid of with yeah, the, the video game system. Yeah, the Red Ring of Death was just kind of replaced by a blue error yes. code. Uh, yeah. Still <laughs> exists, though. Nice. Um, yeah, so... I mean, sucks for you guys uh, that you guys couldn't do this. Uh, they had actual infrastructure for the way they brought everything back up. Uh, online gaming was brought up uh, first. That was first priority. Uh, online gaming to be backup as well as second to be videos, uh, video um, to be video watching, watching videos, Netflix and all that. Uh, that was one of their second priorities because they definitely want to get that up there uh, because that's, a, that's again their net second best revenue. But again they did, redid their entire infrastructure. Think of this, when they got hacked they redid everything. They, they basically started from scratch and basically said we're redesigning our entire security force and we're gonna change everything. And they did that with all within a month. May I remind you, Windows did that for Vista. And for everyone who knows how crappy Vista is, and they know how much of a half, uh, half job that, uh, that Windows did for, with Vista, uh, it's not good to rush things. They wanna get something up and quick, but uh, I'm sure they may actually be working on a second infrastructure um, because why not? Why wouldn't you? Why would you not want to completely improve your infrastructure unless this, in case this happened again? It's always going to have a plan B, folks. But um, also, I don't know if I am I missing anything. I don't know. You read more than I did. I yes. just know more. Yes. <coughs> Let's see. Mm, well, you seem to have covered about most of what this article we were able to read up on was covering. <laughs> As I'm no use in this Again, matter. Again, um, change your password. It's going to ask you to do it anyway. Change your email address. Change your information, if it's possible. Um, I mean, when it, I really don't worry about stuff like this, stuff getting hacked. Uh, I mean, the only thing I really have to worry about is people getting my address. Uh, phone number, I usually use my Google phone number. So it's just like whatever. Um, you know, I can block people at any time. They can call me all they want. And it won't bother me because I can just block them easily. Um, I don't know. Other than that, uh, just change your information. That's all I can tell you for now. Uh, if they are doing a second infrastructure, that would be very wise uh, to anyone uh, that is in the PS3 area. That would be very wise to do that. Also, um, just I don't know what else to tell you guys. If it goes down again, I would switch to an Xbox. I mean... <laughs> A lot, I, know, I think I know a lot of people who have switched to Xbox over this, uh, of course. One, unless you're one of those fortunate people that has both PS3 and Xbox. Well, there's, that, there's those people, yes. too. I, I, I'm, I'm an Xbox person. I'm not, even though, even though I completely hate Microsoft, I'm, I'm more of an Xbox person than uh, anyone else. I'll play any system as long as there's a game I'm willing to <coughs> spend the time and play. Oh, I'm, yeah, of course. I'm, I'm like a binge player. I either won't play video games or I play till I finish it and then, yeah. <laughs> then take a hiatus. Okay, we're going to go to a quick break, and we'll be back in a minute or so. So stay tuned. Okay, cool. Let's turn over this log. Yeah. Whoa. I like the black one. I like the... So you're looking for help with your mortgage. Worried about foreclosure? We can help you keep your house. All we ask for in return is that you submit to our plans for galactic domination. <laughs> Abandoned and lost.
from the dark, cold streets of the city to a cage in the local shelter to heaven, your lap. What if a disaster strikes without warning? What if life as you know it has completely turned on its head? What if everything familiar becomes anything but? Before a disaster turns your family's world upside down, it's up to you to be ready. Get a kit. Make a plan. Be informed today. Learn how at ready.gov. Hey, and we're back to Let's Talk Tech. Again, my name is Alan Billings, and this is Jared Merrimit Marmot. Marmot. Merrimit Marmot. Don't make me slap you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> television. Okay, well, again, this is Let's Talk Tech. We're back from a short commercial, uh, short break, and uh, we're talking about a little bit of Skype here. Um, now, as you may know, Skype, big uh, uh, VOIP. Voice over internet protocol. Uh, basically, what voice over internet protocol is, is, I mean, we're not doing an actual thing on Skype, but this is uh, a little background info for you. Uh, a lot of people use Skype. Uh, even older people that don't know how to use computers use Skype. Give up their grandchildren. Uh, people use it overseas in wars uh, to keep up their family back home. Uh, people use it in Africa uh, for people that are volunteering. Uh, they want to save their family. People that are in China are talking to people in America in instant time with video chat uh, and uh, voice chat. Uh, problem is with uh, this is that in order to, uh, they've really been putting up charges for money uh, and that's not the best thing that they've been wanting to charge you for every time you make a call. Uh, no one likes that. Uh, only with uh, three ways, only with three way calls. Yeah. 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 So that means no conference calling on Well, Skype you can conference call, but you need, it costs you money, money uh, to do it. But what we are really talking about, that was just an overview of Skype. What, what the real uh, big deal is over here is, guess who just bought Skype? Microsoft. Microsoft. There's um, a surprise. Dun, 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 dun. dun, dun. dun. No, the, uh, only, the only thing that could have been uh, just as bad is if uh, Google bought them. No, no, Google would have been better. Yeah. Uh, Google was going to buy Skype, did not. Uh, reason why it didn't? I don't know. I admit, I don't know if they were in the fight for it. I don't know if they were in the battle for it. I don't know who. You lose. I don't know really who wanted to go for it. Uh, but Microsoft, in the end, went for it. Went for the game, got the catch for. It's in the sheet somewhere. Yikes. I think it was like a billion dollars or something. It was like four million or something like that. Let's see. 8.5 billion. 8.5 billion dollars. They just threw away. Poor. Good for you, Microsoft. We're well, proud of you. We're pulling for you. While everyone else has gotten it for free, they're paid 8.4 yeah. billion for 8. it. Uh, 8.4? <laughs> 8.5. Whatever. whatever. 8. 5. Oh, 8. It's, 5 it's, a, it's a lot of money. Let's put that way. <laughs> we'll put it in layman's terms. Um, 8.5 billion dollars they paid for it. Ridiculous. Ridiculous amount of money. But they did pay for it uh, with the $8.5 billion. Now, the question is, what's going to happen? This is, this is the big segment. Is why, what do you, uh, I'm really wondering what you guys are going to think about what's going to happen with this. I want you guys to open up your minds thinking, Microsoft. What has Microsoft done for us in the past? How evil is Microsoft? Is Microsoft, uh, has Microsoft done good things for me? What is it going to do? Uh, my looks on it are they're going to integrate it into Xbox somehow as a the same thing as a over internet voice, VOIP, voice over internet protocol like they have now, except they're going to integrate Skype into there, into the Xbox. So you can uh, talk to people on Skype as, uh, as well as uh, your friends that are on the Xbox. How, how cool is that going to be if you can Skype? Well, they already have the video. They already have, you can buy oh. a video um, webcam. Oh. You can buy a webcam for the Xbox, which is useful, but not now. Uh, only if they do this. I don't see it as useful at all for you to have that but at how, all. 
Yeah. How cool is that going to be? You could actually go on your Xbox, look under your gamer tag of a friend, and mm -hmm. talk to them and see who they are across the country, next door, across the world, everything. Yeah. It's, it's extremely cool. There's other things that Microsoft may do. Microsoft may charge more money. Microsoft may add, may, may actually put in ads. So while you're trying to make a call to someone, before you make the call, it might just be like Google. Oh, sorry, you have to wait 30 seconds to make this call before you make it, unless no. you pay us extra money. The, w the worst thing that they could possibly do is in the middle of a call, all of a sudden cuts out and you both see a commercial pop up. I mean, uh, oh my. Don't see that would happen. Yeah, that would be bad. I don't see that would happen. That would be that very would, that bad. That would be very bad. Yes. <coughs> Uh, I don't know where to go from this point. I mean, it, it's pretty straightforward. Microsoft bought it. What has Microsoft done for us? Let's talk about what Google would have done. Uh, what Google may have done. What I think Google would have done. Uh, like I said, Google was going to buy it. They did not accomplish that goal. But if they did, Google is, again, a company that's not for just integrating their products, allowing you to use other people's products. They don't want you to be forced to use their products, but yet their products do end up working better together, just like everything else. Now, if Google actually bought Skype, they probably would have put it, made an app for it on the Android, which there already is. Probably would have been a better app, though. It probably would have been integrated into Google Talk. This uh, Skype actually may be integrated into uh, MSN Messenger as well. And they, uh, Google would have probably made it so it's available on other platforms such as Linux, which it already is. Well, it's actually available in a beta for Linux, as far as I know. I haven't used it in Linux for a while. But this would be, it would be interesting to find out if, they're gonna, if Microsoft's going to take that beta away and going to say, oh, no, 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 you can only use this on Windows. But I would have liked to see it come out for Google. Expe I would like to see uh, Google buy it instead because they would have uh, put it, pushed it more in other directions instead of just towards them. Microsoft a company that forces everything for you to use their products. Google is a company who wants you to use their products, but at the same time says, it's OK. We have this, but it works with other utilities. So you can, uh, Google Calendar can easily be accessible in anything. And on RSS feed, other calendars, extract it. MSN, you can extract it into your Outbook Express uh, as a CSV or CVS file. Now could, uh, a CSV file. could uh, Microsoft in turn say that, hey, Skype is no longer available on Mac? Can they do that? Or Oh, yeah, they could. Oof. They could revoke it. They would lose thousands. Wow. That would... Uh, they would lose thousands of people. Even as a person that doesn't really pr use Apple, nor do I care to use Apple, it's still that, seems, that would seem like a very rude thing it, to do to people. It wouldn't just be rude. It would be it, Microsoft would lose money. Right. They, they are not geared towards losing money. They're right. geared towards use our product and only our product. We don't want you going towards anyone else. Where Google says, okay, you need to integrate this into this. Okay, that's fine. Okay, you want to integrate, the, you want to integrate our products into other open source products? Because all Google is, is just one big open source family. Right. Google is just part of the open source family, like Linux and other Linux platforms. Uh, such as Google Chrome. Google Chrome is open source. Just about everything that's on Google is open source. Uh, just about everything. Uh, again, you go to their, uh, uh, their, I think it's their labs, Google Labs, you get the code, or google.com backslash code, get some of the code for all, most of their stuff. I mean, I would, I would like to see this fall into Google's hands. They probably might have even released a open source code for, Sk for Skype. Uh, this would have been great. That would have been uh, completely awesome because this way people could build their own Skype pl platform or build onto Skype. They, uh, Skype does allow some third-party applications, as far as I know, but they're kind of useless to me. Uh, some of the other third-party applications are like Recorder, so you can record uh, st your conversations. But the one I used only allowed me to do it for about 20, for about 15 minutes and then it cut out, which was a bit of a crap because uh, I did an interview with uh, Faraz, uh, in a, uh, creator of YouTube Instant. And that, uh, that only lasted, that lasted about 20 minutes, but only recorded about 15 minutes of that. So again, if Google did this, probably would have been a better, uh, better platform. It probably would have been 10 times better, 10 times awesomer, if that's a word. <laughs>
and Mega we would have awesome. we would have been happy because it would have been open source or we could add other stuff onto it or we can integrate it into other messengers. That would have been incredible. I would have loved to see Skype be integrated into other messengers, uh, un unlike online messengers that allow you to may have multiple messengers in one uh, box, so or one page. So this way, you're don't, you're not switching between pages. Uh -huh. Mouthful. I know. Yes. I know too much. It's a good thing he knows what he's talking about because <laughs> I'm completely lost right now. I, I know a lot, but I don't know enough. I need to know more about this. Uh, and then you know, once I know more about it, I'll probably get back to you guys and be like, hey. Uh, Microsoft didn't actually destroy the world today. Uh, that's amazing. <laughs> Completely. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I really want to know what you guys actually hear, uh, want to say about this. Uh, let's talk tech one at gmail.com is the email. And if you email us at let's talk tech one at gmail.com, please email us and let us know what you think. Or uh, follow us at blogspot.com backslash let's talk tech or just search let's talk tech on Google. Uh, we are just about everywhere. So uh, send me a message uh, telling me what you think Microsoft's going to do with uh, the Skype, uh, Skype interface, the VOIP, if it's going to change, what is going to change, and all that. Uh, also, let me know what you think about the uh, PS3 hack, if uh, the PS3 hack is no good or uh, if you think it's going to continue. Uh, again, let's talk tech one at gmail.com. We're going to go to a quick break and we'll be back in a sec. Let's turn over this log. Yeah. Whoa. I like the black one. I like the Abandoned and lost. From the dark, cold streets of the city to a cage in the local shelter to heaven, your lap. What if a disaster strikes without warning? What if life as you know it has completely turned on its head? What if everything familiar becomes anything but? Before a disaster turns your family's world upside down, it's up to you to be ready. Get a kit. Make a plan. Be informed today. Learn how at ready.gov. Welcome back to Let's Talk Tech I, again. My name is Alan Billings, and this is Mike. J and, ah, this is Mike? Jared. It's Jared Marmot. Yeah. Yes. Get the tech. The well, tech I said Mike. I don't know why I said the tech Mike. guy here and the physical hands-on guy here. Yeah. So most of this stuff is kind of right yeah. now. Um, so basically, what we're talking about right now is the CR48. Uh, earlier in the uh, not early, just earlier in the uh, season, earlier a couple episodes back. Uh, I did a representation of the CR48, showed you all the specs, uh, specs on it, uh, the, uh, how cool it looked, how the crappy sticker I had on the front of mine, and <laughs> all that other uh, stuff, and showed you uh, the uses of it, and that the fact that the Chrome CR48, the Chrome operating system, uh, was just, it's just an internet browser. It's the Chrome internet browser, but it's now an operating system. So there is no desktop. Oh, well, uh, technically there is, but only when you get to a new tab, that's your basically that's your new desktop. Uh, they have made extraordinary progress with it. Since I got it, it was very unstable, still is very unstable. Um, <laughs> uh, again, the word CR48, CR48 is a CR is a chrome molecule, and the 48th molecule in the chrome is unstable. It's an unstable molecule. 48th molecule in the Chrome, which uh, unstable molecule, unstable operating system. They go together. That's why it's called the CR48. What would you want to ask? 
It's unstable operating system. Uh, that, it was a beta mode. It wasn't actually, I got it for free. Uh, they wanted me to beta test it and test it out, see what was wrong, uh, what crashed. Everything crashed. Uh, a lot of things still don't work on it. Who uh, I can't access Skype. Uh, my webcam and mic are not working on a lot of stuff. Uh, it's not too stable. And I had to say that I think it's some of the stuff's a hardware problem because they've been doing pretty good on their updates. Uh, there's an update coming out about every week for it. Nice thing about the Chrome is that it updates automatically. Unlike Windows where you have to restart the computer every time you do it, uh, it's going to prompt you and be like, hey, when you want to restart your computer, Chrome will not do that. Chrome will not be like, hey, restart your computer. It, whenever, you sh whenever you feel like shutting down, shut it down and restart it. And uh, whenever, if there's an update there, there'll be a little arrow in the, uh, by the toolbar. By, mm -hmm. And it'll say it'll be a little green arrow, and that means there's an update. And, but that doesn't mean you don't have to shut down your computer. There's no nagging updates uh, to shut down your computer, which is useful. I uh, love that. Uh, but the whole reason that we're talking about this is because the CR48 is now graduating. Uh, it's now going to be called the Chrome Notebook, coming out June. Coming out in June, I believe it's Chrome June 5th. Chrome Notebook. June 5th, I believe. Uh, they are coming out in stores. Uh, I know a friend that works at a computer store that's going to be buying them. Nice. Yeah. Uh, that's actually, I mean, selling them. They're going to be selling them. <laughs> and there's uh, going in for a, they have to go in for certifications before they sell them Ooh. so they can fix them. It's actually a basic because it's Chrome. All Chrome is is a on is it is a internet based. No. All they have to do is go in for uh, mobile training. Now, biggest question is the Chrome notebook going to be available in the Chrome shell? <laughs> Random question. Yes, I know. I know. Google, tell me. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, that would be like a um, Alienware laptop where it has the Alien on it. Uh, but the only, uh, I know Acer's putting out. Ooh, Acer. Acer. Nice. Acer's doing it. I don't know who else. I, I, I know it's Acer. I know Acer. I, I'm pretty sure it's Acer that's putting out with the uh, Chrome Notebook. So if you have a CR48, which I'm sure there's at least one person who watches this show has a CR48. The one person? <laughs> one person. <laughs> at least one person out of the five that watch this show uh, okay. have a CR48, and there's no doubt that someone has one. It's actually four and a half because there's like a three-year-old kid watching the show right now. Probably. So say hi to you, boy. <laughs> um, so, uh, so they again, it's graduating. It's going to the actual uh, actual mode, and it's coming out June fifth, uh, which I'm actually kind of surprised about that they want to put out June fifth. Uh, I find that as actually a bad market. Uh, they want to put out June fifth, which is great. Uh, but usually the time, the time where they where computer stuff is commonly sold, new comes stuff comes out is in the fall time. That's usually where Mac and oh okay, uh, that's usually when right. Mac and stuff comes out with uh, new stuff. So uh, yeah, uh, check out our blog uh, and uh, give me an email. Let's talk tech one at gmail dot com. And uh, we have very little time left, and so that's going to be the end of our segment today. All right. Uh, yep. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, we'll see you uh, next week. Take care, Earl. Yeah. Told you I was going to make this one interesting, <laughs> somewhat.